This week got off to a soggy start and there's more rain coming later this week starting tonight. Now yesterday we picked up over an inch and a quarter for rainfall, new record for March 9th. And this is over half of the amount of rain we typically pick up during the month of March. March usually averages about two and a third uh, when it comes to inches of rainfall. So 55% of the month's rain fell yesterday. If we were looking at just an average March, looks to be an above average March because there's more rainfall coming our way. Satellite and radar shows an area showers moving out of Nebraska at this point. A fast moving area, low pressure bringing that in. That will slide in our into our area by about midnight. Uh, so the rest of this evening expecting to see dry conditions with just a little cloud cover out ahead of that uh, area of low pressure. So uh, you still have plenty of dry hours and some sunshine to enjoy before the rain moves on in. Here's future track showing a dry and somewhat cloudy night. We get to about midnight. Rain activity pushing into the state line. Now the heavier showers will be across southern Wisconsin. Very hit and miss for us. You can see that on future track. Uh, very spotty rainfall. Not all areas getting rain. In fact, if you're south of I-88, you may not see anything out of this activity. So you go later on into the night. Uh, check out this here. We do have a chance for a rain snow mix. Snow showers are expected in southern Wisconsin. Very minor accumulations there. It does cool off slightly into our neck of the woods, which is why a snowflake or two may mix in around four in the morning. However, no accumulation expected out of this. Temperatures will be too warm at the uh, ground uh, to have that snow stick. So we'll see anything uh, that's frozen melt right away. We get to about sunrise and that's when the weather is drying on up as that fast moving low is exiting quickly. We then look for a cloudy sky throughout the remainder of Wednesday. So for tonight, temperatures stay above freezing. Rain moves in late and it could be mixed with snow closer to sunrise. But again, no accumulation expected out of this. And after that early morning round of showers, we should just have a mainly cloudy day ahead for tomorrow with a high of around 50 similar temperatures uh, compared to today. And then there's more coming later this week. An area of low pressure near the Canadian Rockies that dives in by Thursday afternoon. So right on the heels of our current weather system that brings with it just regular rain showers uh, for later on Thursday. Here's Thursday itself, even starting out sunny. Then as you look at this, we have cloud cover rolling in by the afternoon. Showers not too far away from there. By the mid afternoon, we should have much of the rain into the state line with pockets of slightly heavier rainfall. But this rain doesn't last for very long. By Thursday evening, we're drying out and clearing out quickly. So uh, we won't see the rain linger for very long Thursday afternoon. Between the two rounds, a decent amount of rain on the way. First round of rain, we could pick up about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain. And then going into Thursday, similar story here. So some spots may see up to a half an inch of rain or at least a quarter inch of rainfall, adding on to the totals that we've seen thus far this week. And as a result of all the rains thus far and more coming, we have to watch those rivers. Rivers will be likely near action stage, so starting to approach minor flooding. Not expected to exceed that yet. We will watch those levels over the next two weeks as we are stuck in this soggy pattern for a little while. Temperature wise heating up to almost 60 on Thursday, then down again as we go into Friday and the weekend. Weekend looks drier, but there is a chance for some flurries on Saturday. Next week warming up to 50. There's chances for more rain, however, Monday and on Tuesday, which as you can see is a busy day in the future. And snow not done with this yet, True. apparently. Thanks, Alex. The Rockford